What's up everyone? Many of you know that I'm a firm believer in prayer. I'm a firm believer in the power of prayer. Now I do believe that there are a few things that will make your prayers even more powerful, more efficient. Okay, obviously duration and frequency, how often you're praying and how long you're praying for. Another thing that I feel that really adds a significant impact onto a prayer is to actually verbalize and say it out loud versus in your mind. Have you ever had a song inside your head and when you actually, in your mind, you're singing it great, but then when you actually say it out, out loud, it's kind of like you're fumbling with the words. So the act of actually talking out loud and saying your prayer out loud, I believe significantly impacts the power of the prayer. Now the other thing is adding emotion. So you say that you're thankful for your family, right? God, thank you for my family. Thank you for my husband. God, thank you for my family. Thank you for my husband. So you see how I'm adding emotion in there. Even I'm, I'm articulating myself with my body. Now a problem that you can encounter if you want to pray in this fashion is you might feel apprehensive because there's people around. Maybe somebody might hear you. You might feel kind of goofy. God, thank you. And you're doing that, right? Now, one thing that I use personally to overcome that is I, I pray when I'm in my car. So whenever I drive, I use that opportunity, wherever I'm going, to pray. And I can pray out loud, I can pray with emotion, and I don't care because no one's around to hear me, so it doesn't matter. Now, I'm self-employed now. I work from home. I have virtual clients around the United States, Canada, Mexico. So I don't really leave much. I'm here a lot of the time, right? So a lot of my prayer time has been cut down. So I wanted to share with you another place that you can pray. And uh, I've been doing this the last couple days and I really like it. I'm actually praying in the shower. Because I figured, why not utilize time that I'm not doing anything, right? I'm in the shower, I'm cleaning, but why not? I can multitask, I pray. And another little nidbit piece of information I'll give you guys is something called the contrast shower. So you can take a shower, right? Just regular, the way that you normally would. And at the very end, boom, put it all the way cold. And what that does is that causes, it, it's like an internal massage. Your blood draws in closer to the core of your body and there's a lot of health benefits. One is increasing your testosterone and that actually helps you lose body fat and helps you put on some muscle too. And I've talked to different people who do this and it's significant, the impact, specifically with males. Also with your joints, it's really good for the joints. Now whether you guys decide to do a contrast shower or not, I like it because when I turn it cold, I'm like boom, it wakes me up and then I feel that power and that emotion. So those are a couple of great places that I like to pray personally. One in the car, now since I'm not driving a lot now, since I work from home, I pray in the shower, that way I get in the daily prayer. Let me know where you guys like to pray. Is there a place that you can pray in private? Is there a specific place that you find is the most relaxing or maybe the most engaging with your prayer, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Adios.